Hey everyone, welcome back to another Betty's Lab video. First of all, a very big thank you to everybody who's been so supportive. It's really great, really motivating. Now let's discuss the topic of this video. Two months ago, I created a Dremel sanding drum, 3D printed, and that's exactly this uh, sanding drum I have in my hands right here. And people were asking whether this is robust, uh, will the plastic melt? This is printed in PLA, so a lot of questions regarding that. And this video will basically tackle all those problems. And I have added another problem myself. And that's something I overlooked. And the design basically has this rising parts, these loose bits right here, which are not connected to this inner ring. And printing this in ABS or nylon is not very great because you really want to have these parts also connected to the middle for more strength. So that's why I created a new version. Of course I made it Dremel blue and as you can see I changed the fins a little bit so they have a different shape now, more springiness, but also the fins are connected to this inner ring and therefore they have more support. That said, I will include the download model in the video description to Thingiverse and Cold 3D and I will also update the um, in the old uh, uploads a link to this new one so people can also download this if they want to. That said, I will take both of these now uh, with me to the basement and then we just kind of abuse them on some wood and then I will show you how robust they are whether the drum will fly off or not so I see you in my basement okay so we're in my basement now and there is one thing I have to mention and that is whenever the fit is a little bit too tight or a little bit too loose you can of course uh, scale this model in X and Y direction and after you are done printing then the fit is correct on the outside but then on the inside uh, you might have a little bit too snug of a fit with the uh, shaft and therefore you need to drill out the plastic part with uh, ideally a 3.2 millimeter drill bit but if you don't have that a 3.5 millimeter drill bit works fine as well but the chance is that you have to drill out the, the plastic a little bit that said we are going to start with the older model so I loaded in a I loaded in a sanding drum and I will just uh, start sanding and see uh, how well it holds up and what kind of uh, abuse it will withstand so let's start Okay, so we can indeed see that it has a little bit melted after that extreme abuse. I mean, we were holding it in that pocket for way too long and we're gouging away the wood. And this is probably not really how you would use a sanding drum on a Dremel. But yes, it is molten. But I mean, this is also the weakest. This is the PLA. And now you know. So now let's test the other one, the newer one that I print. Okay, so now we have the blue one and we will see how that goes.
And I have to note for this that this is the uh, drum from the previous test. So this is uh, very old and very worn out now. But let's go back upstairs and see the damage, see how they uh, have standed the, the abuse. And I will show you some pictures of the wood uh, as well. So you can see how much damage this uh, you can still do to the wood with this drum. Okay, we're done with the experiment. I brought the drums back to my room and I will show you the aftermath. I have to note that this is a very fine coarse uh, grid sandpaper and also the edges are burned so this is abusing it way beyond that a normal person would use these sanding drums. As we can see the blue one is a little bit molten here on the front, the back side and also it's a little bit molten inwards but as I mentioned these are made of PLA and if you would make these out of nylon or ABS then they would withstand a lot more temperature the white one, uh, I mean the problem areas that I spoke before about uh, didn't break off but as we can see this is molten as well but yet again I'm not going to defend that these uh, are uh, superior or something, but if you print this out of a much more quality plastic, then they will uh, hold up. Because this is basically melting at, or softening at 50, 50 degrees, 55 degrees. And as we can see uh, on the drum, on the sanding drum itself, it's completely uh, black on the edges, so it, it, it became really, really hot. And of course, I was testing this with a very fine grit so really abusing the the sanding drums so I think with just light use, moderate use, normal use they will hold up just fine even if they're made out of PLA but if you really go nuts with them make them out of nylon or something something with, which has a really high uh, melting temperature or softening temperature, glass transition and then you should be all good and it's just important that you get the fit right I uh, did see that I have that I had a slight difference in size between the white and the blue one so therefore the drums uh, that I put on the blue one stretched a little bit too much so I couldn't use them on the white one so make sure uh, that you test the fit that the fit is right and then as I explained earlier drill the hole to size if needed so Thanks for watching, I hope this clarifies all the questions regarding uh, safety and the, uh, the robustness of the, of the drums. And as always, just try to DIY.